right, folks, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Okay, we've got another little saltwater pattern here for you, another little bait fish pattern. I've got a large bait fish pattern, so this is a um, one that we use when we're away. It's also very one of my favourite little ones for bass as well. Um, it just represents so many um, bait fish. You know, it's a it's a sort of a herring size, sprat size, small mackerel size or outside of the UK, it's a, a needle fish or a little gar fish. Um, pretty easy to tie, requires some different sort of techniques which are interesting. Um, so we'll give it a little go. Um, first thing we need to do for this, to make this fly, is we need to construct the body. Okay, so we do kind of tie this fly backwards really. So we start off by tying this body. And the body material for this is um, this hard tubing, this PET hard tubing. You can get it predator tubing, you can get all sorts of different names for it, okay? But this is a piece of this hard tubing. So we'll cut a piece of that first of all. And this is a piece here, about four inches long. Okay, I've already cut this down and this is ready to go. What I want to do with this is I want to create this nice little tail up the end here. Okay, so I've got a thread, uh, some material through this. So I'm going to take a piece of fishing line, just a piece of fishing line, you can use wire, whatever you want, and just double it over, and we're going to push it through down inside the tubing, all the way through, like that. Okay, so we've got that pulled through there now. We're going to take ourselves a length of whatever we want to run through it. Now, your color combinations are really completely up to you. You can be as imaginative as you want to be, or depending on where you're, where you're localized or where, where you're based, you're going to have all sorts of different bait fish patterns. But this one, we're going to tie some sort of blue thing. So I've got a little bit of um, uh, this stuff here, which is just flashaboo. Okay. I'm going to take a little hank of this flasher boo. You can use anything you want for this, but because I want this sort of bluey effect, I'm going to take a little hank of this flasher boo. And remembering this is going to be doubled up, so you don't need tons of it, just enough to create this tail. So let's take a little bit of this and give this a little, just cut that hank out. Okay, so we've got that hank of flasher boo there. All right, and we're going to pop this through this loop that we've formed. So we've formed this loop here. Back of the tail there. I'm going to pop this through, just wet it so it doesn't fall apart. It's often easy just to give it a little bit of wet so it doesn't fall through. Get about halfway up. So the ends are matching. There we are. So your ends are matching and then you're just going to simply pull that through until that tail is level at this end here with where we want it to be. And I'm going to say somewhere around about there looks about right to me okay i'm going to tidy this up in a second just get that nice and evened up yeah i would have said that's about right i'm happy with that okay and we want to tie this off at the end here now what i use for this is uh you can either just use a pin in the vise or this i've got this little tubing tool here okay this is for tying tubes with i'm just going to pop that in the vise lock that in Let's see if we can do that a bit better so you can see it. Uh, that's it just there like that. I'm just going to lock that in the vise like that. And I'm going to slide that and push it into the back of the tube. Okay, and this is just going to give me something to whip to. So I just push that to the back of the tube and through. And that holds it. Um, and you can, you've got three hands now. So thread in the vise is a white um, uh, 210. Um, just any tough thread you know for salt water patterns again you want a pretty hard stuff you want you know a pretty tough thread and while you've got this locked in the vise then this is actually pretty easy to tie on so just get yourself started around the back here and just nice and lash that down as you can see we just tied that in there now just lash that down right the way to the back nice tidy finish and then we're just going to lock that in with a few turn a few uh turns just keep that oh, it's just just slipped slightly there let's just tidy that up before we do it okay let me just give that a couple of once twice is enough because i'm just going to put some super glue over this as well so it doesn't have to be a strong knot just trim this trim that off put that aside Okay, so you've now got that. Let's get 
light. There we go. So we've now got that cinched in there with a super glue. I'm just going to nice dab of glue on there, all the way down to the tail. We can trim that off to whatever length we want. It's quite good to me. Pull it off the threading tool and there we have the tail all tied in, ready to go. Very simple, very easy. I can now pull out this uh, fishing line from the other end there. And there we are, that's your body constructed. Okay, pretty straightforward that. Nothing to it really. And once that's dried off, we're also going to give that a little coat of UV on there as well. Okay, so that was very straightforward. Next step is we need the hook and the vise now. And for this, I'm using a uh, mustard 3 0. Uh, and this is the 34007, which is a standard salt water hook, very, very tough salt water hook. Um, which is what you want for these big predatory fish. Okay, that's your hook there. We're going to offer this up to the body now. And by that I mean we're going to measure out a little gap at the front there. Okay, that's where I want the uh, the, the, the body to end and where I want to be whipping that in. I've leaved myself a little gap there for a set of eyes. Right? Because I want to put a set of eyes in this. So by looking at this, I'm saying it's that about there where my fingers end is where I want this hook to penetrate, where I want to be able to push this hook through. Now the thing with this tubing is you can actually work that hook in at that point there, just take the eye of the hook and start to push it in and just give it a little twist as you do so and that will start to open up the, the fibres, there we go and you can actually push that, thread that through just being careful not to dislodge that tail and there we are, that's now threaded on and we're ready to start dressing the fly. Couldn't be easier really, eh? it's a very, very simple fly, this is very, very easy to tie. So that's there we are, that body's where we want it, just about up there, and we're ready to tie the fly. So all we've got to do is get your thread worked on, work your thread on the top of the eyes here, at the top of the hook, and then we're going to affix some eyes and we're going to use some you can use whatever weight you want, whatever weight you see fit for this, depending on where you're going to fish it. I don't want this to be particularly heavy because I'm going to fish in this with a floating line. I want to keep it nice and high up. So I'm just going to be using bead chain eyes, you know, really large bead chain eyes. Okay, just pop those in on top of there and just catch them in and whip them in nice. And just your bigger of eight wraps. Nice and straightforward. As I say, it really is a very, very easy to fly a tile. Once you get those couple of little techniques with the tail um, worked out, there we go. And then we're just going to bring the body up just behind the head. And then we're just going to set the wraps over the top of that. And that's it. That's all caught in there now nicely. Okay. So that's that part of the fly. Just going to put a tiny bit of super glue on that now, just to hold that. Like that. Okay, I'm just going to dress this a little bit. I'm going to give it a little bit of an overwing and a little bit of an underwing as well. Um, and for that, we're going to use um, craft fur, craft hair, predator hair. It's, it's, it's all the same stuff. Okay, whatever you like and whatever shade you want for, for, for this fly. For me, I'm going to use a little bit of white on the underneath, and I'm going to use a little bit of... Um, blue to go on the top so I've just taken my white craft hair and I'm going to take a little pinch and just uh, pull it out a little bit so it's not, not even so it just creates a nice sort of shape a nice sort of taper okay there's a nice taper going on there take out some of the more struggly bits and I'm going to offer that up to the hook I'm going to come miles down just want to really come around that, that hook will do me put that on there a couple of turns to lock it all in and I can cut this off and trim this there we go just going to trim this down lovely and the same on the top of the fly here 
I'm going to come in with this nice light blue colour, sort of a mackerel blue colour, it's just a great bait fish colour, same sort of length again, just over the top of the fly, catch that in, just a couple of three or four wraps over the top of there, and there we go, and then we can cut that down as well. Okay, that's that on the side there. Trim this down. Just get up a little bit, just give it a little bit of a squeeze and a tiny bit of a little bit of a roll there just to cloak it, just to get all those fibres to go all the way around and just to cut all the edges up so there's no sort of empty spots there. Okay, I'm quite happy with that, and then I'm just gonna wrap that in really nice and tight figure of like that through and that's your finished flight is that straightforward i'm going to put a little bit of varnish on here a little bit of uv on here just to create a nice secure head but you can see how quick and effective that is it's a lovely little bait fish pattern that was a little it's quite a big bait fish pattern i'm just going to get your whip finishing tool and just finish this off Okay, trim that down. Yep, that looks good. Right, just make sure it's on the right other side of the hook. There we go. Got a nice reflective pattern. It's got a nice, uh, nice look at about it, these flies. It really does look like a small fish, you know, it's got that lovely fishy sort of reflection to it and then in we come with a bit of UV and we're just going to give it a good dollop on top and back of the hook and again underneath just going to create a nice rounded head and this really will make this fly bulletproof um, all but the toothiest of critters are going to tear this apart everything else it's uh, You've got a lot of life out of a fly like this. Certainly for bass, I've got loads of bass on these flies. And uh, they're bomb proof. A pollock on them. A wrasse on them. Um, all sorts. So I get the UV. Come in and give that a nice little blast with the UV. Just to solid that up. I'm going to do the same at the back of the hook as well. There we go. Sort of pass with the UV. And then just back here as well. Now that that uh, super glue is set, I'm just going to come in, give that a bit of a UV just to protect it, give it a bit of a extra protection. Just in there. Bang, just hit it again. that round there we go so it's done that's ready to go that's ready to fish and you know there's any sort of color combinations you want you know obviously green and blue um, are favorites um, you can try them in red yellow and whatever your variation whatever you want to do but that's basically a little bait fish pattern um, what you want to call it but uh, needle fish bait fish gar fish um, sand eel could be so many so many different so many different things but a very very versatile little pattern for salt water all over the world and i hope you enjoyed that it's uh, something a little bit different again uh, give it a go and uh, Please click like, click subscribe, and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks very much.